All right, what's up guys? This is Mark Augustine here. And in this video, I know you like, Mark, where are you? But I like to come outside, take some walks and so on. But in this video, what we're gonna talk about is why most of you guys who are doing Facebook Marketplace dropshipping will never run a profitable Facebook Marketplace business. And I know this sounds crazy, but this is a shout out to Vincent. So Vincent, if you're watching this, this is to you. Like the video guys, because a lot more videos like this are gonna come out to explain some of the mistakes you guys are making and some of the mistakes you continue to make. And if you continue to make those mistakes, you'll never make money. You'll make some money and then be, be clouded and it would not be a profitable business. Because running a dropshipping business is about making money. It's not about just running a business. So anyway, let's get into it. So I was, I'm running this account, this, this Facebook Marketplace business, for a client called Vincent. We did a, a deal where I both run the account and train him. And, and if you guys want to be part of our, our Facebook Marketplace, our e-commerce ma masterclass, which is Facebook Marketplace and Amazon and Walmart, join the Grand Camp group and let's talk about it. I'll put a link to the Telegram group in the description. But anyway, so I, tr I, tr I was training Kathy. You guys have seen one or two videos of me training her. She might do a couple of videos on the channel soon. And she's listing and making some money. And then Vincent, and we listed a couple items, 30, 40, 50, a couple items, $200, sold some, made like $100 profit, and it's going well. But Vincent came in one day in the group and was like, hey, I want you to list these items. And he showed us a couple items that maybe he did the research and he wanted to list. And this is where the mistake comes in. A lot of you guys including Vincent and a lot of the courses out there about running Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, are just randomly listing items or listing items you think you would sell. You will look in your house, you'll see things that you use, and just find it online at a cheaper price and, and, and on Amazon or Walmart or eBay or something, and just raise the price because you're like, yeah, I think this is going to sell. And that's impossible. There are a lot of things that I would buy that I have listed in the past. One is a barbecue pit, this little portable barbecue pit, and it never sold. A lot of you guys buy stuff that don't sell regularly. So there's, there's no, choosing items over what you think are gonna sell and sell it for money, more money is not a strategy. And the reason why you will be stuck in this cycle of trying, of like you're making sales, but you're not making enough, and you wanna pay a VA, and the VA might be listing, but you're not making enough money to cover the, the, the um, the salary of the VA, is because it, that's just not how this works. The reason why we sell on marketplaces is to get free traffic. By analyzing these marketplaces, we can get data, actual data, from eBay, from Amazon, from Walmart, about items that sell regularly. And when you get the data from eBay, you get good titles and you get good tags from the titles and good keywords to add to your Facebook listing to increase the traffic, to increase the potential of selling because you know these items sell regularly. And you get data from all the other platforms to make the best listing possible to have this item sell. So when you just choose 20 random items or 50 random items, raise the price by 30% or 40% or 50% and list it, and out of those items you get one sale, but yeah, I know what I'm doing. Let me continue doing this. But the process needs to be strategic. And the, process, the strategy needs to be repeated and repeated and be as efficient as possible with the least amount of time as possible to build a successful, profitable Facebook dropshipping business. So I know a lot of you guys, yeah, Mark, but I just listen to some stuff and sell. Go ahead. I'm not telling you don't do it. Do whatever the fuck you want. But if you want to be profitable, you want to find items to sell based on data, based on information that you collect from these different marketplaces and create the perfect listing for Facebook that peop so people will find your item, either, either ask questions, purchase it, and you make money continuously. Not one sale a week, not three sales a week. That's just not how this works. You want to be getting three, four, five, ten sales a day. That's the goal. Making ten to twenty dollars a sale, ten sales a day, at ten dollars, a hundred dollars a day. And that's why it frustrates me. And 
That's also why I started this live trading. So if you guys want to join the live trading, I did, we launch a site soon so you can apply, we get it called and figure out if it works. But I'll put a link to my Telegram group and you can ask to join the live, live class. But that is why I started it. Because I could make video after video and I've done courses online, I've, done, I've seen Ecom Tom's course, I've seen Paul's course on Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping. And guys are just listening what they think they could sell. They're pulling down thousands of items. They're just uploading it. And you're getting a couple of sales and you're happy. But the first sale is exciting. But when you can get multiple sales a day, then you know what you then you know that you know what you're doing. And then you can run a profitable Facebook marketplace business. Anyway, like the video, subscribe to your channel, check the links in the description for my new Facebook group. Check the link in the description for the Telegram group. And ask me anything in the comment section, I'll get back to you guys. Peace.